Formal NSD came to all the delegates and the dignitaries joined us for the second edition of WA uh, Project Based Learning School. Today, on talk two, we are going to see about Japanese talk career success. For this, we have our wonderful speaker joined us. Success is no accident, it is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, Love of what you are doing or learning to do. With this wonderful and fascinating quotes, let me welcome Ms. Lalandi. Ms. Lalandi Shekhar has completed her BTech Information Technology from Kumaraguru College of Technology. She has a great passion towards teaching and learning the Japanese language. She is in an entry level certified Japanese language trainer. She is currently serving as the manager at Currently serving as the manager at Japanese Plus SST Global Coimbatore. Her responsibility at SSID Global includes strategic planning of promotion, public relations, and international collaborations. She is also the in charge of the business Japanese translation projects. She has mentored over 100 students in various levels of Japanese language proficiency and to get placed in Japanese companies. With this wonderful profile, now I hand over this wonderful platform to Ms. Lalandi. Over to you, ma'am. Ma'am, can you uh, hear us? I guess your voice is not audible. Yeah. Now. Am I audible now? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Now you're audible, ma'am. Good evening, one and all present here. Let me share my screen. Is the screen visible? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Your screen is visible, ma'am. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Lalanti from Japanese Plus SST Global. I'm here to discuss about a skill which can actually make us smarter and outstanding. That is learning a new language. Here are some of the advantages of learning a new language. Exploring new things, networking, enhances the ability to multitask, exposed to new career opportunities. You will be interested to explore new things like origin of the language, the culture behind that and so on. This improves your self-learning habits. When learning a new language, the brain forms new neuron connections, which increases the creativity and sharpens your brain, which also enhances the ability to do multitasking. Next is making new friends, which is networking. You can meet more people and make more friends. More friends makes more connections. More connections brings you more career opportunities. There are some of these are some of the advantages of learning a new language. But why to learn Japanese? From 6,500 languages in the world, I'm going to tell you why you can choose Japanese. Advantages of learning Japanese language. Higher studies and scholarship. More job opportunities, business opportunities, collaboration and research, etc. Culture and heritage. First comes higher studies and scholarship. Japan stands in seventh place in ranking for education. Japan is one of the most technologically advanced country in Asia and world. For doing higher studies in Japan, an exam named EJU, Examination for Japanese University Admission for International Students, should be cleared. This exam is conducted twice every year in June and in November by Japan Student Service Organization, also known as JASO. Other than EJU, language test is required. At most of the universities in Japan, the students are taught in Japanese. Some courses may be offered in English, but major majority courses require an applicant to have proficiency in Japanese. EJU tests an applicant's knowledge of the Japanese language 
and in the perspective and in the respective subject. Sorry for the interruption, ma'am. Your voice is not audible. Sorry. Uh, am I audible now? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Now you're audible, ma'am. Okay. Sorry. language test is required. At most of the universities in Japan, the students are taught in Japanese. Some courses may be offered in English, but the majority courses require an efficiency in English. PGU tests an applicant's knowledge of Japanese language and in the respect of universities may require and separate jail Electric engineering has made electric engineering is a major, a computer engineering major and cyber law and politics. Micro specializations are possible even in UG Japan. Interesting courses are uh, in science technology. Now these are the courses which we can do specializations. UG program is a program as well. Sorry for interesting question, ma'am. This is uh, in arts. And your voice is breaking a lot. Arts and management field. We are. In each and every field in Japan. Oh, sorry for the interruption, ma'am. Can you able to hear us? Your voice is breaking, ma'am. Okay, just a minute. Just a minute. Uh, just a minute. Yeah, sure, ma'am. So sorry for the inconvenience pa caused participants. Uh, speaker is facing some network issue from her side.
ma'am uh, if you are facing network issue can i share the screen from my end ma'am Am I audible now? Yeah, now you are audible, ma'am. Uh, can I share my screen from my end, ma'am? Ah, uh, no, I'll share my screen. Yeah, sure, ma'am, sure. Uh, everyone, can you see my screen? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Am I audible is clearly now? now? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Your voice is also audible. Okay, thank you. Next is scholarship. There are five types of scholarship available in available for foreign students. First, uh, government scholarship is also known as mixed scholarship. The Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology, uh, Monbu Gakcho of the Japanese government has been inviting international students to study in Japan at state expense since 1954. Applications should be made through Japanese embassies or consultate generals abroad or Japanese universities. In next, there are seven different categories of scholarship, namely research student scholarship, young leaders program, teacher training student scholarship, undergraduate student scholarship, Japanese studies student scholarship, college of technology student scholarship, and specialized training college student scholarship. In the next scholarship have qualifying exam. For undergraduate students, the exam subjects will include math, physics, chemistry, English, Japanese, and also biology for medical field students. And for a master degree or a doctoral program, who are for higher studies, other than master degree and a doctor, who are all for higher studies, will have exam subjects as English and Japanese alone. Next is JASO. JASO, uh, as we saw uh, earlier, EJU is conducted by JASO. Uh, EJU is one of the qualifying exams for JASO scholarship. Manbuka, Manbuka Gaksho Fauna Scholarship for privately financed international students has been provided by JASO. JASO also offers student exchange support program uh, that is scholarship for short term study in Japan for those accepted by Japanese schools under student exchange agreements or student exchange arrangements with their home schools. Uh, next is local government and uh, local international association scholarship. Local governments and local international associations in Japan provide scholarships to students living in their district as well as those who are attending schools in their district. Scholarships are arranged according to the location where the foundation is located from north to south of Japan. There are 29 types of scholarship available for 12 category of students. Uh, these are the 12 category of students, uh, which includes a uh, high school students, college of technology students, professional training college students, university Japanese program students, Japanese Language Institute students, junior college students, auditors who are undergraduate, undergraduate students, research students uh, who have graduated, uh, who have been graduated, professional degree program, master's program students, research program students. Next is, uh, other than governments, private foundations also provide scholarship. Private foundations uh, are provided by uh, private companies or organizations. Reflecting the objective and the character of the company or uh, organization, scholarships are granted to students attending schools in the given district or limited to special subjects related to company or to be provided to the students from a certain country or region with which their enterprise has exchanges. Scholarships are arranged according to the name of the foundations in Japan alphabetical order. There are 96 
foundations which provide scholarship for the above seen 12 categories. Scholarship available abroad. Uh, almost most of the scholarships are available for available after coming to Japan. Several uh, local governments, local international association and private foundations accept application from overseas also. Uh, the examples of uh, mixed scholarship and uh, JASO are all for uh, both students who are uh, who have reached Japan and are also from outside Japan. In that, there are 18 different foundations and service centers which provide scholarship for students who apply for overseas. Next is Sakura Science Exchange Program. Basic objective is to understand each other and to create sustainable world. Young talented people from other countries and region are invited to Japan through Sakura Science Exchange Program in a collaboration of Industry Academy of Government. This is to introduce and offer experience in Japanese science and technology. Beginning in 2014 and for a period of six years, over 33,000 young, 33, young people visited Japan on this program. Students, researchers and others engaged in science and technology who are 40 years old or younger from all countries and regions are allowed to attend this program. By exchanging ideas in the field of science and technology among the participants of Sakura Science Program, they pursue support the support uh, government development of talented people overseas who have the potential to contribute to innovation in science and technology and support continuous interaction and maintain good relationship between Japan and other countries and regions. Promote globalization of Japanese educational and research institutes. They provide many programs such as Sakura Science High School Program, Open Application Program, JST Direct Invite Program, etc. Each program has its own specialty. For example, the high school program, the students are allowed to uh, go to Japan, visit the universities and schools and can stay for a period of one week. Uh, in Open Application Program, uh, this, in this program, the, uh, the students or the applicants are allowed to stay for more than a week, more than a month. So each program has its own speciality. This is the selection process for the uh, this is the selection process for attending the Sakura Science Exchange program. Uh, before attending uh, for applying for this program, there should be an organization in our country and in uh, and we our organization should have a tie up with a Japanese country Japanese uh, organization. Uh, including both organization, the both organization should discuss and develop a application. That application will be submitted from Japanese organization to JST. JST is Japanese Science and Technology Organization. Uh, the JST will have an SSP selection committee, which will have the selection process through the application submitted from the Japanese organization. After the selection process is completed, the contract will be signed between the Japanese organization and JST. Uh, JST will provide the expenses for expenses like travel and uh, staying everything. From there, the program begins. Uh, the JST will take care of the expenses while we are staying in Japan. Sakura Science Club. People who come to Japan on Sakura Science Exchange Program will be certified as members of Sakura Science Club, the alumni association of Sakura Science Exchange Program. The Sakura Science Club provides members with useful information on the website and alumni meetings are held in various places so that the club members continue to be active as a bridge between Japan and their home country, as well as to develop their innovation in the field of science and technology. Online visit, uh, online university visit. Due to COVID pandemic lockdown situation, JST introduced the online uh, university visit as a part of Sakura's high school program. Uh, young talents from overseas can attend this program to virtually visit the reputed uh, universities in Japan to know about the culture and ec educational ecosystem technologies and research at, research at Japan. Uh, these are the upcoming online uh, university visits. Next comes job opportunities. In the present Japanese population is more of aged people. So the demand for young workers is rapidly increasing. Skilled work, skilled young workers are less in Japan. In next 10 years, more than 5 lakh professionals are needed in Japan. Job fair. Japanese job fair has fame globally. Japanese 
uh, job fair is conducted in a unique manner where the first round will be in online and the shortlisted candidate will be taken to Japan by the hiring company. And the candidates will appear for a face to face interview. Finally, the results and offer letter will be provided on the spot. Uh, some of the well known brands from Japan, car companies such as Nissan, Honda, Toyota, etc., technology related companies such as Toshiba, Hitachi, Panasonic, etc., business opportunities. Japan is the third largest economy in the world, one of the largest electronic goods provider and stands third in the automobile production. It is one of the high ranked countries in terms of innovation in the field of artificial intelligence, robotics or automation and growing in the field of tourism also. We all used to watch cartoons and famous cartoons such as Chinchan Pokemon, Doraemon or from Japan. Other than animation, gaming and robotics, uh, these all fields have huge opportunities. Japan stands in third place in robotics. It has more potential for business opportunities. One of the uh, business opportunities exports and imports. Japan exports vehicles, machinery, optics and robotics. The country shipped approximately 3.4 billion yen's worth of robots in 2012, comprising around 50% of the global market share. Major imports of fuel, food, chemical, especially mineral and energy products. As aging population is a trend in Japan, it has a growing demand in globalized services and opportunities for foreign companies seeking trade agreements with Japan. Business opportunities can be uh, through e-commerce also. Japan has the in, uh, internet usage rate, uh, highest internet usage rate when compared to other countries. So uh, e-commerce through Amazon, Flipkart can be used to sell our own uh, country products in Japan. Next is Indo-Japan collaboration. There are activities like Indo-Japan collaborations, uh, such as science program, DST research funding, cultural exchange programs, etc. India and Japan signed agreement to give skilled Indian workers access to Japanese job market in 14 high demand fields. Uh, Japan would uh, grant these workers the status of specified skilled worker. The visa system will be varying for each work, uh, for the each worker who are working, who are currently working in Japan. Uh, so the visa status will be given uh, as a specified skilled worker. So the uh, period of uh, visa will be long. That is why it is mentioned as specific. Uh, specified skilled worker. In 2017, India and Japan signed the technical intern training program agreement to allow Indian youth to avail the internship in Japan in manufacturing, healthcare, construction, textile, uh, agriculture, technology, in, uh, uh, information technology, etc. There are many Indo-Japan collaborative initiatives to support the students, professionals, researchers, and business people. Language specifications. In the, in, in the native language, Japan is called as, in Japanese is called as Nihongo. Nihon is Japan and Go is language. There are three uh, writing styles, Katakana, Hiragana and Kanji, we'll see in the upcoming slides. There are different level of formality, depending on whether you're speaking with, uh, speaking with your superior or teacher, we use formal language formal level. With colleagues and class members, we use polite. For our very close friends, we use casual level. The formal level is uh, also known as business level Japanese. Uh, when learning Japanese language, we separately learn business level Japanese for uh, job opportunities. Japanese language has no plural or no article. Uh, it has similar patterns uh, with our own mother tongue. The grammar patterns will be similar to our own mother tongue. It will differ from English. Uh, Indian mother tongues will have the similar pattern as, as of Japanese. So it will be easier to learn Japanese language when compared with uh, Eastern people. Intonation does matter. For example, the word bridge ha is pronounced as hashi and the chopsticks is also pronounced as hashi. May uh, the sound, uh, the pronunciation may be same, but uh, there will be a slight intonation while speaking. Uh, as I told earlier, there are three types of writing style. This is the first style, hiragana, 
used by native people. Uh, um, next is katagana. This is used by foreign people. Usually, the Japanese write their own language using hiragana and kanji. Our for, uh, foreigners like us will be using our katagana to write our uh, names and uh, foreign uh, the words which are derived from foreign will be using katagana. If you see the difference between hiragana and katagana, the pronunciation will be the same, but the writing style alone will be differing. Uh, if you note in this hiragana, there will be curves, but katagana are like a stick. There won't be curves in katagana. Uh, if you have noted, there are only 46 letters and there will be no pronunciation as la or uh, va. La will be pronounced as ra. Next is uh, kanji. Kanji is pictorial representation. In this, uh, under JLPT, you can see uh, kanjis. In the near NAT test, it is described in kanji. Kanji is pictorial representation. Uh, if, we, uh, if we start from learning hiragana and katakana, the kanji will become easier to start. There are five levels of certifications in Japanese language, starting from N5 to N1. Uh, now, JLPT is a Japanese language proficiency test, which we saw in earlier slides. It is conducted by Japan Foundation twice in a year on the first Sunday of July and December. NAT is uh, conducted six times in a year, Feb, April, June, August, October and December, that is alternative months. Culture and heritage. The word Ikigai. This word you must have heard frequently in the in recent times. Let's see what is Ikigai. Ikigai is a concept which helps us to find the purpose of life. Enjoying in your work, loving what you do, giving meaning to your existence. That is Ikigai. Like Ikigai, there are many uh, interesting cultures in Japan. Uh, one of the is uh, Kintsugi. Kintsugi is uh, bending the broken objects using uh, bending the broken object, usually ceramics, with gold. This mainly focuses on beauty and imperfections. Other than this, there are many things to be inspired from Japanese culture, such as punctuality, respect towards others, taking responsibility and ownership, patience, meekness, and mostly the Japanese people never see for temporary solutions. They solve the problem that it never occurs again. Another interesting culture is Boeing culture. Uh, most of the Eastern countries follow this culture, but uh, Japanese give more importance to this Boeing culture in business level. The slide blue is like tell, uh, is like telling hello or uh, welcome like that. Thirty degree of uh, thirty degree is like saluting. Respected bow is forty five degree. If they if they bend to ninety degree, that is inverted L shape, that is uh, very warmly. Uh, very warmly thanking or uh, respecting what they what the other person have done. About Japan, uh, these are some of the interesting facts about Japan. Ja Japan in uh, Japanese is called as Nihongo. The meaning is itself the land of rising sun. The Japanese people mostly follow three types of uh, religion, Buddhism, Shinto and Christianity. Uh, marriage or usually in Christianity style, usual temple and prayer or of Buddhism, death rituals or of Shinto style. So there is no uh, particular region is followed. Uh, a people, a person will follow all the three regions. They don't particularly follow a single region there. During winter, they have snow festival held in Hokkaido. Uh, Hokkaido is the northmost uh, island of Japan. The, mostly Japan is uh, four, uh, four islands. The topmost island is called as Hokkaido and the winter festival will be celebrated there. They make uh, statues using icebergs. They even import icebergs to do that statues. Like that uh, during, during spring, uh, Sakura festival is uh, held in Sapporo. Sapporo is one of the place where cherry blossom flower will be bloomed only during spring festival. There is a specialized park for the 
uh, in Sapporo for this uh, event. Japanese currency uh, is yen. One Indian rupee is equal to one point five two Japanese yen. The most uh, another most interesting fact is that uh, literacy rate in Japan is about ninety nine percentage. Let's see some uh, phrases in Jap in Japanese. Ohayo gozaimasu is called uh, is good morning. Konnichiwa, hello or good afternoon. Konbanwa, good evening. Oyasumi nasai, good night. Arigato gozaimasu, thank you. Other than this, uh, o genki desu ka? This is called as how are you in Japanese. O tanjiyobi omadete gozaimasu. This is telling, uh, wish you many more happy returns of the day. Like this, uh, the pronunciation uh, will be uh, very interesting when you start learning this language. Let's see a video. Is audio audible to everyone? No, ma'am, we can't hear. No, ma'am, the audio is not no, there. I guess while presenting, can you please give a turn on uh, share with sound, ma'am? Now is this, is it audible? Oh, no, ma'am. Uh, Mitresh, uh, good evening. Uh, can you please give me a share access so that I can share my screen? Yeah, sure, sir. Just I think there is some problem. Um, you know, so that uh, the voice is not audible uh, on this video. Let me try it from my system. Yeah, I think. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, sir, I have given you the access, sir. I will take over, uh, Lalandi. Please hold on the call. Uh, let me try to play this uh, video. Yes, sir. Is this audible? No. No, sir. One minute. Yeah. Okay. Now it will. Oh, hi, you talk to you, Konichiwa. Sunima sen, I fold and I don't speak. Yeah, let's say it is audible, sir. Papa is soda. When you say. Sorry? Uh, I say it is audible, sir. Yeah, okay. Oh, 
Ohio, Tokyo, Konnichiwa, Sumimasen, I fought and now I don't speak Japanese, but I love Aoi Sora. When you say Wakari Mashita, I say Hitachi Toyota, Kawasaki Nintendo, and also Nihonga. I'm losing my way. I think uh, you know it's a it's a short video and and friends you know the things that you have you know sent in this uh, video all are uh, the Japanese words basically. Uh, let me touch up you know since uh, uh, while Lalanti was presenting in the beginning a uh, couple of slides uh, her voice was breaking. Let me you know uh, touch up that slides for your uh, uh, better clarity and understanding. So basically, as uh, Lalandi said, what is there in Japan and why anyone, uh, you know, uh, needs to consider uh, learning Japanese. So, uh, you know, you can have the opportunities in Japan. We know the success. We know the story of uh, Japan right after uh, uh, World War, how uh, they became the superpower and now they are the uh, world's third largest economy. And uh, we know about their technology growth and everything. So these are all the just uh, the, you know areas where uh, the Japanese uh, Japan will give you a plethora of opportunities like you know the higher studies and scholarships, the job opportunities and the business opportunities, and collaboration in research and cultural exchange, etc. And culture and heritage too. So uh, at your uh, level, since you know most of the crowd here are uh, the students predominantly from. Uh, the schools and colleges. So, uh, what the Japan has to offer to you in terms of higher studies and scholarship, right? So, this, so I think you know. Hope you understood the uh, importance of uh, language uh, test requirement and uh, other things related uh, to the admission. Uh, the important aspect that I would like to touch up here is uh, uh, the academic programs in Japan. So in Japanese higher education, uh, we can choose the major uh, uh, specialization and minor specialization. So you can take any major specialization. Say you want to uh, study the computer science, you can take that as a major specialization. Along with that, if you want to, you know, uh, 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 work with uh, cyber security and cyber law or the uh, protection against cyber crimes, then you can choose the minor specialization as cyber law. Uh, similarly, if you want to study again, the computer science as a major, but you want to apply the computations and computer science to the medicine uh, biotechnology domain, you can choose the biotechnology as a minor and uh, uh, computer engineering as a major. So such uh, options are there for even UG undergraduate programs. And in fact, the biggest problem in uh, the Japan uh, is its uh, old age population. So there, as from the Lalandi slide, hope you might understood that the uh, population of Japan is straight opposite to India. So uh, we are facing a problem of overpopulation. They face a problem of underpopulation. So including the migrant uh, from the other countries, their population growth uh, 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 per annum is minus 0.2 percentage. So it means it is in it is growing in a uh, opposite ways degrowth. So uh, to balance that, in, you know, in, in most of the companies in Japan, they uh, they find a, a very big crunch for the technically skilled human resources. So say they started collaborating with the countries, uh, especially the uh, uh, Asian countries like India and other countries. They started uh, collaborating with the countries and they signed an MOU for uh, uh, manpower exchange in 18 designated fields. So. Uh, Similarly, they provide uh, uh, so many scholarships uh, in their national or private universities. Government universities are also giving many scholarships and private universities are giving and uh, many organizations uh, 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 are there in Japan to offer uh, the scholarship. All these, all these efforts uh, of giving these scholarships is to develop uh, manpower uh, are a uh, skilled human resource to work in Japanese companies. 
So another important aspect is you can see the you know unique courses in Japan. So you can see you can find some of these courses in uh, postgraduate level in India, but all the uh, the minor specialization or the micro specialization like narrowing down into the uh, 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 correct subject area is there for even undergraduate studies in Japan. Uh, in in science and engineering stream, if you see. Uh, basically, in India, we used to have a BARC program, Bachelor's in Architecture, or we used to have, uh, you know, uh, Civil Engineering, which is which is quite common, which is, uh, you know, a generic uh, uh, term. We used to go and study the uh, Civil Engineering, but here they offer a course called Bachelor's in Architecture and Urban Design. So here, the Architecture is the major specialization, and Urban Design is a, a minor specialization. Similarly. Bachelor's in Informatics and Media Design, Bachelor's in Industrial Innovation Design, Bachelor's in Bioscience and Bioindustry, Bachelor's in Integrated Arts and Science, Bachelor's in Electronics and uh, Robot Engineering, Bachelor's in Robotics and Mechanical. So it's a blend of robotics and mechanics and Bachelor's in uh, Mechanical and Electrical Engineering. Bachelor's, if you, you can see at uh, the level of narrowing down the courses, Bachelor's in Social Media. So that course will have in everything related to the social media, how the social media works, uh, how the optimization can be done, how the social media is created, what is the what are the other platforms, how it trends, uh, what affects the social media. If some in, you know uh, uh, security security threat happens in a social media, what is that? All these things. And again, bachelors in web. So they they provide an exclusive bachelor degree for a web development. Imagine we we used to have the web development as a courses like a ten days course or one month course. Imagine if you study a bachelor's degree whole on a web design, how it would be. So similarly, bachelor's in electrical information, physics engineering, bachelor's in astrophysics and art, atmospheric sciences. Uh, similarly, bachelor's in mathematics, uh, mathematical sciences and informatics. Uh, science and engineering, animal science and biotechnology. This is, this, these are all very limited courses that we have listed here. So like this, you can find uh, many courses which are interesting in nature and which are which are not there in India and countries like India for any undergrad to take up. Uh, similarly, in the arts and management background, you can see some of the you know interesting courses like Bachelors of International Liberal Arts and uh, Interdisciplinary Arts. Uh, arts in communication studies, arts in international uh, relations, uh, uh, business administration, global entrepreneurship. So these are all the different courses. It's, it's like Bachelor of Business Administration in Global Entrepreneurship, uh, business, uh, Bachelors of Business Administration in Global Marketing. So different courses, so separate courses are there. Similarly, arts in fashion management, arts in sports management, uh, technology management, and the welfare management, contemporary English. So if you know, but if you, if you look at the courses, uh, you know, and the academic programs in Japanese universities, you'll be amazed to take up. So uh, of course, so all these courses are taught in English too. Uh, you don't need to uh, have a proficiency in, uh, you know, uh, Japanese to study all these courses. But the biggest advantage that we uh, leverage out of, uh, you know, uh, learning uh, Japanese is when you apply for a scholarship. And when you apply uh, apply for any uh, you know finance or a stipend or finance assistance in any of the universities, so the professors there working will be comfortable when you know uh, Japanese. They will be quite un uncomfortable because uh, you know they they uh, uh, they they feel like if they have somebody uh, who's uh, you know uh, uh, known to Japanese, they will they will find. Uh, uh, you know, easier accessible to them. So in that way, you can uh, have a good possibility of getting uh, scholarships, uh, getting stipends, or if you don't want a stipend or anything, uh, but still you want to uh, take up these courses. Yes, of course, the universities are you know uh, offering you. Uh, you can directly take up the course with your own self-financing support. And anyhow, when you land on to the Japan, uh, you need to learn the Japanese at least, you know, uh, to live there, to to manage your day-to-day -day activities in, in Japan mainland. So uh, in that way, Japanese will be uh, so much helpful to you. And for uh, most of the scholarships, it would be, you know, uh, uh, very easy if you know uh, uh, the Japanese. And and as uh, Lalandi said, there are there are you know the, the Sakura Science Program is 
excellent program offered by uh, government of japan itself and through this uh, you can have uh, a visit uh, to japan uh, without spending a single rupee so everything they will sponsor to and fro the travel and the taking you through uh, the different universities and the taking you to different uh, tourism places in japan so everything you can uh, uh, you know uh, need not to spend a single penny for this uh, uh, trip in sakura science program so apart from this another another thing that, that i just would like to touch up is uh, you know uh, the culture and heritage that too you know uh, i think galadi has touched upon about uh, this ikigai right so uh, let me tell you an interesting story guys uh, you know you just tell me after this whether that was interesting or not so uh, in in japan there is a place called uh, osaka so uh, it was observed that people in osaka uh, you know live happy and live uh, healthy and uh, they live very long uh, uh, in the world the average uh, you know uh, life of a people is so high in osaka uh, we we used to get jealous right how the people can be happy and how they live so long so uh, the scientists jumped in uh, to osaka to conduct a study on how these uh, you know crazy guys are living uh, so happy and living so long uh, uh, the study uh, after some years revealed that the people living in osaka follow uh, uh, some philosophy called this ikigai okay so in our day to day activities in our interest we may have uh, you know in our list that in which we are good at so we may be good at uh, you know uh, photography we may be good at uh, content writing we may be good at uh, public speaking or anything so you may be good at something in the same way you may be good at something uh, what you love to do say uh, i i am good at photography but i i am i am good at photography and also i am uh, love to do photography so you may have something what you love to do and in the same time you may have something what the world needs right so if you are good at photography then the world needs you to you know capture the moments and capture uh, some important things to document that so you may have something in your uh, you know specialization or something that you do on a day to day basis that the world actually needs and you may have something or many things which you can be paid for if you do a photography or if you capture some uh, you know uh, uh, moments of uh, some other people if you they will be interested in paying you right so you will have these four lists something you are good at something you love to do something the world needs and something for which you can be paid for right uh, if you do something in which you are good at and you love to do that is called a passion okay that is pursuing your passion if you are good at something and for the same you can be paid for that is called a profession if you do something if you pursue something uh, which you are good at and which can be paid for is called a profession uh, if the world needs something if you have something the same the world needs and for that you can be paid for if you pursue that that is called a vocation and if you love to do something and the same thing the world needs right that is called a mission so if now we have four things passion mission profession and vocation so if you simply pursue your passion uh, you know you are good in that and you you love to do uh, the photography let us say the photography uh, but you are doing uh, what you are, what you love to do and you are doing what you are good at that is called passion you are pursuing your passion by simply pursuing your passion you will not be paid for right so we have other parts also you need you need to be paid for at least to bear your day to day expenses at least to feed you you need something so similarly if you do your profession uh, you, uh, you know you will be uh, whatever you are doing in that you are good at for that you will be paid for but you will not have a satisfaction because uh, you are not loving what you are doing right it, when you when you do pay profession alone and similarly if you do a uh, vocation the other parts will miss and if you pursue the mission the other remaining parts will miss so the ikigai is something which is the which is your purpose for life the ikigai is something what you love to do and what you are good at and what you can be paid for and what the world needs if you take 
the common thing for all all these uh, in something what you are good at something what you love to do something uh, that the world needs and the same thing what you can be paid for if you take that that is your ikigai that is your purpose of life so they find they they apply this ikigai concept for each and everything if they want to do if they want to start their own business or if they want to start a new business or they want to apply for a job or if they get any job they will apply this ikigai whether it matches as per their ikigai or not they will uh, if it matches they will pursue or if it is not matching to their if they found that is not their ikigai they won't uh, do that so by following this it is found the study found that they are living so happy and they are living so healthy and so long so this is an interesting uh, thing that we can you know inspire from uh, japanese like that there are so many things that we can inspire from uh, japanese and uh, you know to, to to conclude let me you know uh, introduce in a which capacity we are uh, you know telling uh, we are talking all these uh, you know uh, to you we are uh, from a company ssp global so we are a leading technology and hr development consultant with a client base in japan india sri lanka bangladesh pakistan uganda and kenya we provide technical human resource and business consultation to the uh, companies in japan and other countries we work with in india and especially in the countries uh, in asia we work with educational institutions corporates and governments uh, to train their technically skilled human resources with japanese language and our mission is to support and guide people to open education career and business opportunities in japan and we uh, work towards strengthening the uh, economic partnership between uh, japan and asian countries so uh i'll i'll stop my presentation you can you can uh, post or you can ask if you have any queries related to japan or the opportunities in japan or about the japanese language before that uh, if you need any support uh, or collaboration uh, after the session you may contact you can take a screenshot of this uh, you know uh, page you can uh, reach out to our manager uh, mr pranit is uh, taking care of the academic collaborations and partnerships so you may reach out uh, through this number and email id and also you know uh, stay tuned and connected to us uh, through uh, the social media channels we are available in the name of japanese plus and post this session you will be given uh, you know a digital greeting card as a token of our love uh, you can post that in any of your social media handles you can feel free to tag us uh, we would we would uh, really love to you know engage you all in that way thank you so much uh, uh, you know pbl uh, 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 committee members and team uh, ramni mitresh uh, and and many many other uh, good friends from my trip uh, for such a wonderful opportunity yes thank you sir thank you so much uh, so participants now it's your time kindly post your queries in the chat box we will take your queries to the speaker So participants, if you have any queries, kindly post it in the chat box, or else you can unmute yourself and ask the speaker. Okay, yeah, I think I you know uh, some of our uh, JFA students are there in the call. So if they would like to, you know, uh, convey something or speak up, uh, let them let them raise their hand. I think I can see Aryan, Bharti. If you want to, you know, reflect anything, you can you can raise your hand so that uh, Mitresh will allow you to speak.
Yeah, hello everyone. Am I audible? Mitresh, can you please confirm? Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, you are audible. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Yeah, good evening, everyone. First of all, thanks to Naveen, sir, for the kind presentation and the Japanese global team. So I have been learning Japanese for the past couple of months, and it has really been a great experience learning the Japanese culture. How do they people greet? And to be very honest, Japanese is a very beautiful language. How you draw the stroke strokes and how you get the word and alphabets out of it. So it was really a wonderful experience, like working with the team, learning from the team. And I would really appreciate if you guys also learn Japanese, since Japan is the future country where there lies ample amount of opportunities for all of you. So that was from my side. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Aryan. So well, I would also like to go next, sir. Am I audible, Mitrish? Yeah, yes, Bharti, you are audible. Yeah, hello, everyone. This is Bharti Ramesh, and I'm also a Japanese student from uh, SST Global. And I also, I'm, I'm also uh, working, I'm volunteering as an intern over there. So, learning Japanese was another. Uh, beautiful hobby that I took uh, since this language is something that uh, has been a little interesting uh, across the globe as this uh, country has been leading in many platforms and as well as economically and uh, globally. Uh, and uh, this experience that I've gotten starting learning Japanese with the team was an awesome one. And I'm learning a new language along with its culture. And I find this journey to be more uh, wonderful. And I also think if you join with us, you'll get more, you learn more too. So thank you for this opportunity. Yes, thank you, uh, Mr. Aryan and Ms. Bharti for sharing your uh, views on uh, SST Global and uh, your journey in learning Japanese. Uh, I guess um, no more queries from the participant side. Guys, if I have any queries, kindly post it in the chat box. We will take your query to the speaker. I guess uh, no more queries from the participants. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much for uh, uh, delivering us a wonderful uh, speech. And uh, it was so engaging and we could able to learn many new things about Japan and why we need to learn a new language that is Japanese or uh, to survive or uh, to learn many new things from uh, home itself. So it was a new uh, overall, it was a new experience for us to learn many new things. As a token of appreciation and gratitude from uh, Project Based Learning School Camp uh, Season 2, we would like to present you a small uh, token of appreciation. Kindly accept this e momentum, ma'am. Thank you so much, so much Mitresh. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. So, uh, yes, since we are uh, it connected through virtual, it's time for group pick. So I request all the participants and the dignitaries and the delegates to turn on your camera for a second. We can have a quick group pick. I request all the members to turn on your camera for a second. We can have a quick group pick. Also, I request you to uh, show V, so which is uh, a symbol of victory. Okay. Yes. On the count of.
is on the count of three, two, one. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for patiently listening throughout the session and uh, uh, gaining, gaining new things out of this. And also I thank Ms. Valenti for uh, presenting a wonderful presentation to the school students, which is uh, one of the great remarkable thing uh, for them to learn a new language while they are in the school uh, stages itself. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you.